I'm speaking with Mark Aronoff of Mediaplex. Mark, can you tell us in about 10 seconds, what does Mediaplex do? What do you specialize in? Certainly. Mediaplex is a third-party ad-serving technology platform that aggregates all digital marketing into one single interface. So looking at things like, obviously, rich media banners, display banners, paid versus natural search, email, rich media, and mobile, all within a single platform. Cool. Okay, so looking at the next year, you're a, you're a specialist in this area. What do companies that don't necessarily understand all the nuances, what do they need to know? Well, I think one of the biggest challenges is being able to integrate all those channels mm -hmm. to be able to understand the influence upon each other. So what is the necessary effects of your display campaigns upon natural search or your paid search campaigns? Having that system to track everything, mm -hmm. to be able to tell a more deeper and richer story mm -hmm. about how these channels are influencing each other and looking beyond just the last event that drove a conversion, but right. being able to understand um, how to then allocate budget appropriately for all these different channels yeah. and where they're really driving influence versus final conversion. Interesting. Tell me a little bit more about that. So basically with our technology, we can look at the date and timestamps of all the events in a digital conversion mm -hmm. funnel. So by doing so, you can really tell a story of, you know, for people that are only looking at the last event and giving all the credit there, we call attribution, mm -hmm. now you can start to begin to see and understand what other channels were they exposed to via email or search or uh, display ads, yeah. then that will help tell a marketer these dollars that I'm spending in these other channels are actually affecting and influencing a conversion even though they didn't or weren't responsible for the final event. Which helps you not only do an effective campaign, but then report back to the CFO or anybody else who's a decision maker and say, here's the value we're bringing. Exactly. It's really having a greater understanding of the um, timelines that are involved yep. and having a better kind of allocation of budget for these channels now and telling a greater story. Cool. Okay, you mentioned e-tailers. What are you doing with them? So specifically with e-tailers, what we have a great product is for direct response advertisers. Mm -hmm. We correlate our conversions and update that activity about every 90 minutes on average. So now an advertiser can take that information and begin to optimize the creatives, the landing pages mm -hmm. of these display digital campaigns. And by taking that information and optimizing not only the message and the landing page, they can actually look at things like behavioral targeting and retargeting. So for users who are putting specific items in their shopping cart, yep. potentially abandoning them later, we can then re-message those same mark that same audience with the exact product that they had in their shopping cart. So that really resonates well with the users who are in that product purchase cycle within that kind of early window. So not that you know these brands, but so you're saying if I put an eyeshadow palette from Urban Decay in my cart and then I don't do it, you might offer me something from that company or Stella or another brand that kind of falls within that realm. What's nice about that is doing it through cross-channel. So you may have originally searched for some generic term that led you to that product sure. page. However, you never saw a display ad in the past. Well, with our technology, we can identify that you've been searching for that. Yep. Again, put it in your shopping cart and abandon. Now the next time you're on a media property that that advertiser's paying yeah. for, we can actually display the creative of that same image in that ad. Cool. Can you tell us any of your clients specifically? Are you working with the big guys? You're working with small companies? Who are you working with? Yeah, that's a great question. We work with basically anybody into the spectrum who's mm -hmm. doing online advertising. Uh, we've got a 10 year history with eBay. We power all of Dell globally. Um, so what we do s particularly interesting stuff with them is like dynamic messaging. So they've got tons of product SKUs that they're always yeah. trying to feature. And what we can do is basically starting with a template creative, dynamically insert and do multivariate testing of different yeah. items. But not only that, tie it back to their inventory. Yeah. So for example, with like United Airlines, for example, we are able to tie in seat inventory availability within the message. So if a particular flight like to Hawaii is selling out yeah. and they want to shift demand to maybe Alaska, they can do that. And they can also read based on a user's location so that they can have relevant messaging of the flights that are from that location. You just really caught my attention. You're working with some really big companies. You said you powered eBay? Absolutely. Yeah, we have a 10-year yeah. historical relationship of powering eBay's uh, ad-serving technology, wow. rich media. Um, they're very in, de in, in deep with us based yeah. on the amount of data that we're feeding them about the attribution piece as well. That's really cool. Tell me, so if you've seen the history with them for 10 years, what has been changing? Like this year, what is totally different from where you've seen things in the past? Mm -hmm. Um, it's a little bit more into the investment into the next generation media yep. uh, buying techniques through either real-time bidding, but as well utilizing next generation messaging formats. So one message example was the dynamic messaging platform, yep. as well as to kind of rich media. So getting more of the engagement, having people understand, uh, or having the market understand how people are interacting with the brand and, and what's driving the rich media 
from the branding awareness over to the direct response side and right. how that can actually drive e-commerce as well. Right. Okay, two questions for you. Um, I'm going to ask you in a moment how do you simplify because there's a lot of options that sure. you can come to. But first I want to ask you, companies need to partner with, with, with vendors. Things are changing so quickly right now, they need you to be the expert. As companies are looking for people to partner with, what do they need to be asking you? That's a great question. I would say number one most important thing a marketer needs to think about is what separates you, your service or makes your company unique? Mm -hmm. What can I, can't I get from everyone else that I can get from you? Um, because there's a lot of competition in this space, whether you're a vendor and covering different sides of the equation, there's a lot of overlap. So I think it's really important for someone to understand what makes different companies unique mm -hmm. and what are the value propositions that they can get from those specific companies. Question number two is how do you simplify? There are a lot of options right now. It's very easy to get overwhelmed. I'm talking with people from the brand side and their eyes just get really big. They're like, I'm worried I'm not going to cover every platform, every mobile option, every everything. How can you help them to simplify? Or what is your advice sure. about simplifying? Say start with the end goal in mind. So for a marketer, they have to think about what are their key performance indicators mm -hmm. um, and metrics that they're trying to track. So by stating the kind of goals and objectives from the beginning, then you can work with your vendors to basically outline the campaign to reach that specific goal. And so they kind of need to have an understanding of their target audience up front, set their goals according to that, and then of course as they get to know their audience better, you know, re-establish re their goals yeah, to make sure they're tighter. It can be tighter. anything from a specific audience you're looking to target, a specific number of conversions or sales you're trying to hit, um, certain awareness metrics you're looking to hit. Um, that is again the key because without that, uh, you have no ability to measure whether you are successful or yeah. not. So we, we always like to start with the end goal in mind. Yeah. Okay, so even though this is a pretty techie realm, can you tell me, looking ahead the next year or two, what is coming? What do we need to be ready for? Um, you know, I think the future is still kind of evolving as, as we go. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's going to be a little bit more of the consolidation between all these, you know, overlapping vendors and technologies, etc. Simplification, you're right, it's going to be one of the keys. And, you know, people are having a lot of time and energy focused on all these individual different outlets of their advertising, but aren't seeing the unification of that. So I think people are going to be going forward looking into how do I simplify things by unifying it. Mm -hmm. So having that kind of tail that wraps everything together and be able to kind of understand how they're influencing each other and that has a much greater effect on how they then spend their future advertising dollars. That is very practical advice. Mark, thank you very much.